Hello everybody, my name is Iman at SID. Today we're going to cover Claisen condensation reactions. Now, like aldehydes and ketones, esters can also exhibit reversible condensation reactions. This is known as Claisen condensation, and here we're going to look at the mechanism for this. There's four big steps. Proton transfer, nucleophilic attack, followed by loss of a leaving group, and a final proton transfer. Now, the first two steps of this mechanism are very similar to your aldol addition reaction. The ester is first deprotonated to form an enolate, and then this functions as a nucleophile and attacks another molecule of an ester, as you see here. Now, the difference between an aldol reaction and a Claisen condensation is the fate of this tetrahedral intermediate. In Claisen condensation, the tetrahedral intermediate can expel a leaving group to reform the carbonyl bond. And so it is simply a nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction in which the nucleophile is this ester enolate and your electrophile is an ester. The product at the end of all this is your beta keto ester. Now, there are two important things to keep in mind in regards to Claisen condensation reactions. First, Claisen condensation reaction um, requires that your starting ester must have two hydrogens at your alpha position all right with just one alpha hydrogen you lose the driving force for your condensation reaction second you don't want to use hydroxide as a base because it can cause hydrolysis instead you want to use an alkoxide base like what is present like what the alkyl group that is already present in your starting ester. And the reason for this is you want to avoid transesterification. All right. Now, just like we talked about cross aldo reaction, we want to talk about crossed Claisen condensation reactions. Cla here, Claisen condensation reactions can occur between two different partners, and the result is a mix of products that happens via cross Claisen condensation. Now, it's only efficient if one of the two following criteria are met. One, if ester has if one ester has no alpha protons and cannot form an enolate, or two, a directed Claisen condensation can be performed in which LDA is used as a base to irreversibly form an ester enolate, and then that can be treated with a different ester. Now, Claisen condensations can also occur in an intramolecular fashion, and this is known as Dickman cyclization. All right, this is synthetically speaking extremely important also, and the product of this reaction is going to be cyclic beta keto ester. All right, notice that the ester enolate and the ester group are both present in the molecule, resulting in an intramolecular attack. Now, with all that being said, let's put this into play with a few practice problems. This one says identify the base you would use for each of the following transformations. All right, so here we have um, an ester as a starting material and this beta keto ester as a product. We know that this is gonna be a place in condensation between two identical products. Now, the alkoxy group present on the starting ester is an ethoxy group. So what we want as a base is sodium ethoxide. We want to preserve the alkoxy group in our base as well, so we prevent transesterification. For B, same principle here. We want to preserve this terbutyl, this terbutoxide group. And so what we want to use for a base is potassium terbutoxide as to preserve the terbutoxy group that is present. Fantastic. All right, now we want to do this problem. Predict the major product obtained. All right, when each of the following compound undergoes a Claisen condensation, all right, reaction. So here we have, I'm going to write this as phenyl because I don't want to write, I don't want to draw that ring every time. It'll get messy here. All right, we have this starting um, ester. We're going to deprotonate this as a first step, right? And it's going to interact with a version of itself that's not deprotonated, right? And what happens here is we have this nucleophilic site that's going to attack our electrophilic carbon and they're going to form a bond between them. But if you make a bond, you have to break this bond and this double bond will dump its electrons on the oxygen. So what we have is something that looks like this. All 
all right? These two carbons are these two carbons that have formed a bond. All right, now as a final step, we want to reform our double bond. So we're going to dump this, this lone pair here to reform a double bond, but now we have to kick a group. And our ethoxide is going to be our leaving group. And that means we form a product that is going to look like this. We've reformed our double bond there. And this is our final product. Go ahead and make an attempt at B and C and let me know what you get or if you run into trouble and I'm more than happy to help. But what we want to do now is move on to this last problem for clase and condensation. All right. We want to identify the re reagents that you would use to produce each of the following compounds using clays and condensation. So looking at A, we're gonna identify our alpha position and our beta position here. All right, we're gonna create a divide between them. All right, the, the, the product that is at the alpha position that we've preserved here, this is going to be our, the product that's gonna be deprotonated to form the enolate. All right, what that's gonna look like is this right here. And when it's deprotonated, it's gonna be deprotonated at the alpha position like this. All right, what is it going to attack? Well, it's going to attack the latter half of this molecule, which looks like this. Plus, we want to add that ethoxide. This ethoxide is going to be our leaving group when we reform the double bond. So to get this product, we're going to need these two reagents in order to perform the Clayson condensation reaction. I'm going to let you go ahead and try B. And I'm actually going to end the lecture here. All right, a whole lecture for clays and condensation plus a few practice problems. And next time, what we want to do is talk about alkylation reactions. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck, happy studying, and have a beautiful day.